if we want to compare two different populations to see if those population means are equal, the way we would go about it is we would take a sample from each population and we would look at those samples to see how close the sample means were to each other. We can make a hypothesis test about the population means being equal to each other and we could compute the values for that test with our TI-84 calculator. So to do that, we would go to the STAT option and we would scroll right to test and under test are all hypothesis test and confidence intervals and to do this particular test we want to do a two sample t-test because we have two samples that we're trying to compare and we're doing a t because we don't know the population standard deviations for these tests. So the two sample t-test is option four. We could enter the data if we only have the raw data or for this we'll assume that we actually have the statistics for the samples that we've collected. So we've collected two samples one of our samples has a mean of 3 and a standard deviation of 2.7 and there are five data values in that sample and then the second sample has a mean of 4.8 and a standard deviation of 2.81 and there are also five data values in that sample. Notice how close the sample standard deviations are 2.7 and 2.81 because they are so close we will probably assume that the population standard deviations are equal to each other and when we assume that the population standard deviations are equal to each other then we say yes let's pull those standard deviations together into one standard deviation so we're going to select yes on the pooled for this particular problem and our alternative hypothesis because 3 is less than 4.8 we think that mu1 may be in fact less than mu2 so we're going to test that hypothesis and then we just press calculate and we get a p-value of 0.1659 and that means that the evidence that mu1 is actually less than mu2 is weak. Let's suppose that though our standard deviation on that second sample was different. So going back to stat test looking at option 4, let's suppose that instead of 2.81 our standard deviation was actually 5.5. In this case, our standard deviation for the second sample is a great deal more, over twice as much, as that of our first sample, and so we would probably not want to assume that these population standard deviations are going to be equal. So in that case, we would not want to do a pooled test. We would not want to pull the sample standard deviations together into one, so we would be doing a non pooled test and so the only difference there is instead of saying yes we want to pool we say no we don't want to pool. We'll assume our other data is the same and our means are the same and our alternative hypothesis is the same and we'll just recalculate. Here we get a slightly different t value and a different p value so in this case we definitely will not reject the null and we definitely will not conclude that mu1 is less than mu2. If we wanted to do confidence intervals we would do much the same thing. We would do stat, we would scroll to test, and we would scroll all the way down to two sample t int. Option 0 would be the one we would want to select and we would select the same data options and we would do a 90 percent confidence interval so 0 0.90 and in this case we are not going to pull because we're still using the data set that has the much larger standard deviation for the second data set and then we calculate 
and here we have that the difference between our first population mean and our second population mean should be between negative 7.154 and 3.5537.